I mean, that's pretty much it. Just open it up and woo! We got gold! Yes! Wait a minute. This guy looks different. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay guys, we got the all new Treasure X Sunken Gold Pirate Ship. Woo! This is a part of the series five. And it's super cool because you can take a look at the front and you can see it's a treasure ship up at the top and then you've got Treasure X Sunken Gold logo, super cool. And then you got the Kraken. Hey, I'm not cracking a joke about that. And then you can see it's got 25 levels of adventure fun. And then it doesn't come with this other figure, the one that changes color. That's part of series five that they are gonna release soon. And you can see in the fine print additional Treasure X figure sold separately, image for illustration purposes only. And then down at the bottom, you got oversimplified steps, like you explode the hatch, you rescue the captain, and then you defeat the beast, and then you'll find real gold dip treasure. Hey guys, there's no guessing if you're gonna get real gold dip treasure in here, you're gonna get it. That's the front part. And see, you've got the top part. I mean, this looks super cool. Just the box itself was my treasure. And then you've got, oh, there's the side, real gold dip treasure. Man, and that gold looks super cool. We've got skull cross swords. And then it looks like the other golds that you have in there has the octopus on it. And then on the other side, it says, defeat the beast to find the treasure. Woo! We're gonna get that crack and we're gonna like get the treasure out of them. We have ways of making him socks, you know. And then on the bottom, come on boys and girls, let's read the fine print, okay? So it's warning, do not eat projectiles at eyes or face. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be shooting each other. This is like a Nerf gun war. What if they actually loaded this up with Nerf bullets? Pew, pew, pew. Well, look, they got a cannon right here. That's gonna be super cool, a cannonball. Caution, follow instructions fully when opening treasure. Keep magic foam away from pets. Magic foam will make your pet disappear. Do not eat any contents of this package. Guys, if you're hungry, get some pizza. Product is not intended to be played with in or around water. There you go. So, hey, it just answered my question. This does not float. And it says right here, ship does not float. Aww. I was gonna go out and watch it just go out to sea, but it's part of the sunken gold. It'll just sink down, and there goes my gold with it. Unless I pulled it out, then it'll just be a sunken ship. And then on the back, cool guys, this looks fun. The back says it all. I mean, if the picture's worth a thousand words, then this is probably a couple of million. You got the different characters in there sold separately. Hey, you got the exclusive captain, and then you have the big kraken. And over to the right, you can see the contents. You get one ship, one ship's wheel, one ship wheel post, one anchor telescope torch, a front post, kraken figure, Figure, treasure chest, real gold dip treasure, woo! Captain figure, weapons, cannon, magic foam, 10 coins, and one instruction booklet. You guys remember those characters? If you guys can tell me these extra characters that are sold separately, which one's from which season? So like the one, the guy with the green turban up at the top of the snake, take a guess. You ready? Okay, here's the answer. He's from season two. And then you've got, with the horn helmet, uh, he's from season three. And then you've got, oh, he's cool. He was one of the rare figures, the little red uh, bandana around his head. He's from season one. And then this guy right here, the color changing dude, he's from season five. He comes with those smash bottles that Moose is about to release. So I'm gonna look forward to seeing him. And then starting up at the top, it gives a little bit more details of what to expect is one, ignite the barrel. So you got a torch you're gonna stick down there <laughs> into the barrel and light it, boom, and blow it up. And once you explode the hatch, it looks like you're gonna get that black magic foam. Wow, cool, it's got a dagger, a gun, and a sword. Oh, beware of traps. So you can tip the exclusive figure, the captain, out of his uh, crow's nest. And then you can find hidden loot and defeat the beast. You stick a sword in his gullet and he cracks open. Well, that's why they call him a crack and you crack him open. And then you rescue the captain and you can see above there includes exclusive captain figure additional treasure x figure sold separately the next step is dig out the cannonball eyes next you find the cannon and you take his eyes and you poke it in the cannon you stuff it and you can fire and blast and then it's got so much more and then that's the cool part right there find real gold dip treasure i like it i want to see what's on the other side of that coin it looks like you've got the octopuses on the other side but that's probably additional coins 10 coins but the real gold dip treasure has the skull and the cross swords what's on the other side you can go ahead and take a guess before we get to it now for the magic opening Woo! Okay, so what's the best way to open this? Guys, there's a couple ways it looks like you can open this, either the top or the bottom. You got more tape on the top. You got tape here and here. And when you cut the tape here and here and here and here, you can flap that open and then just pull it out. Or if you do it on the bottom, which looks a little bit more simpler to me, you cut the tape here, here, and you got this little flap you pull up and it looks like you can just fold it down. So it's your flavor. Pick which one that you want to do. I think I'll do the bottom and just take my knife. Uh, two pieces of tape to cut, I think, and that's it. Oh, maybe that's the best way to go. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
That is cool. Okay, first, you got an extra box in there, just held it together so, you know, that doesn't come out. We're good with that. Oh, and then look, you can maintain it for you collectors like us if you want to go ahead and look, look how easy that is. Cool. And you may want to keep and not throw all the boxes away if you want to meticulously put it back together and be able to put the ship back inside the box to keep it for later reference. Oh. And cardboard. Oh, that came right out. Nice. Cardboard, go away. And okay, well, before we hit this, here's the instructions, the steps. 25 levels of adventure fun. Now you got the front, and it's just picture by picture step instructions. And then you got the back to go ahead and discover everything that you could discover. I mean, there's other things that we can discover, and we'll check that out as well. And then here we go. So first thing I recommend doing is just cutting all the tape off so we can get this cleaned up. And actually the first step in the instruction says you want to rescue the captain from the crack and he's been hugging onto him for this long. So for me, let's get my butter knife and just start cutting through this. You may need scissors for some of this. So I'm just cutting through the tape around here. Oh, there goes my torch, see? Don't want to miss those little small parts. As you start opening, it could fall through and drop on the floor, and you're like, ah, I miss. And that's the key, the torch, to be able to open up or explode the barrel of gunpowder. Oh, let's do this. So there we go. There's the plastic. Yeah, keep that if you want to wrap it. And nothing in the box. Cool. You know, oh, look, and there's the barrel right there. And it's step one. And stick the torch in there. So look, we the torch. Oh, there's the torch seat. It looks so insignificant, but it's not. And look, the torch fits right there. So you may want to just stick it in there. Okay, so that's where you can put the torch until we're ready. Uh, and then you got all this tape to keep these guys. You know what? It's just better with scissors for me. And cut through this. There's that. Okay. And then turn on the other side. It looks like, oh, I guess we could just pull that off once we cut it. Cool. Can we pull this off? Yes. And then take this out from underneath. Hey, spin the ship. Wherever it stops, you win. I won! And my prize is an armful of gold. Oh man, you know what? They should have wrapped this in pretty ribbon. It's like a little gift, you know. Get the scissors in there, give it a nice cut. Okay, there we go. I think we got it all. Oh, and it just pulls out. Okay, so the first thing it wants us to do is rescue the captain. We have to knock him out, so he'll release him. There we go, there's Captain. What do you guys think of him? He looks super cool. I mean, the classic skeleton bones. So we rescued him. He looks super cool. Oh, and then step two is to put your torch up in here. Actually, they want you now to take the torch out and turn it over. And then you want to take this tape off. Actually, we can try to poke it here to light it. Oh. Look at that, it just popped open. <laughs> oh man, and then this is the, the container that contains the black magic rock. You see where it's got the fingers there? You just pinch and hopefully it comes off easy. Just keep pulling, just don't give up hope. Oh, look at that, it's spongy, it just pops back. It's not like that blue rock that we had in series three. That was heavy and hard. This is nice and easy. It, it reminds me a little bit of kinetic sand, but it's not like it. It's actually a, a foam. It's cool. And so in here, you're supposed to find some treasure or artifacts. And there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? It's just firing off everywhere. This gunpowder is going everywhere. It's just gonna blow. No, it's not helium. Because <laughs> this thing just seemed to like go all over the place, pop out. I just wonder what it would happen if you put static electricity around it. You know how you rub your <laughs> head on the balloon. And... Am I getting any static? Is my hair standing up? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, it's kind of moving it. it it's, it's very subtle. Okay, let me break it up first because it's so cohesive. Uh, oh, it just feels like it's, it's mushy. Now watch, watch when I break it up, watch how it just starts melting. Oh, look at it, pew, just zapped over there. Look at this. It feels like spongy, but watch how, look how, that is so weird. Look how it just melts down, but it looks like it's alive. That's just cool black gunpowder. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Ready? No. It just, the way it worked, it seemed like static, like, oh, it's kind of sticking to the balloon underside, some of it, and it does get everywhere. Okay, guys. <laughs>
it didn't work. But hey, we had a gold balloon. I love this magic foam. And this magic foam produced, uh, let me get this off, three artifacts here. So you've got your dagger, you got your gun, and you got your sword. And I guess you could put the sword in him if you'd like, right there. Charge! No, oh, wait, you gotta go in with guns blazing, right? Once you pry those hands apart with mammoth-like strength, there you go. Now he can go into battle. He gets, what, one shot with this? Before he has to reload it, and then he just, oh, and then he's got the dagger in his teeth. Or he puts it on his hat so he can carry with him into war, you know? Okay, let's see what we could actually do with this. All right, let's see if we squish it. Even when you try to, it's like this thing has a mind of its own. It wants to keep breaking apart. Okay, you ready for this? Because I can't even roll it. Look at that. It will not stay together. It will not flatten complete. Oh, it's like a pancake. Hey, it's done. It just rised. Okay, take it out of the oven. All right, so there's the torch. And I, I guess we could use the torch again to pop it back open or the dagger. Yeah, that works. That's a pretty cool little hidden compartment. And look, it's in the, the shape of something exploding, just like it's cracking open. Oh, look, you got a starfish there. It looks like a starfish. Oh, that's cute. I just love that. Look at the mass of that thing there. That's cool. And the red skull and crossbones. And then you got the little, like, net that goes up to the crow's nest. Okay, so what we have to do is let's take this off right here. Let's cut off this plastic around his face. So just a little bit of scissors, a little bit of snip there. And there we go. And you can see... Here's the image right here. So we got to get his eye. Ooh, we got to dig his eyes out. So get this in there and get the, I was going to say the white of his eyes. Dig it behind it. Oh, there you go. Just get a little bit of pressure behind it. It's ready to come out. Cool. There's the first cannon. There's the shot. Sweet. That's his eye. Ugh. And so you just have to put it behind it. Just a little pressure and it'll release it. Gouge a little bit and it just slides right out. Okay. Not a lot of effort on that part. His eyes were already, I mean, when he saw you opening this up, his eyes were already like, because he knew you were after his gold. <laughs> Let's see if you can put his eyes still back in. Can you put his eyes in? Yeah. Well, yeah, his eyes go back in. Okay, and then so next, we're going to have to attack him and get him to open up his mouth. You see how it's got number two? And you take the dagger and you got to stick him in the gills there. You think this little baby thing's going to get him? It's a little pinprick to him. Oh! So he'll open up his mouth and reveal the treasure. So here, let's do it. Let's do it on the side. Okay, here we go. Right there. Pick one of his gills and then poke. Oh! Whoa! Did you see that? We got gold everywhere. Quick, count the coins. We get all 10. Oh, look at that. You see, look at the coin. Okay, so on one side, you got the uh, skull and the cross swords. And then the other side, you got the octopus. So you know that it belongs to both the octopus because his stamp is on it and also the captain. So they have to share. Okay, three. Oh, it's underneath him too. Let me just pull it. Oh, look, just take a look inside his yapper. So there's the treasure chest inside. And that, I think, is where we're going to get the real gold dip treasure. All right, let's pull that out. Let's put that to the side and let's try to shake all our, whew. Okay, we got our 10 golds. And then look at that. So, and there's the spring right there. Looks like it just pops up. So if we go ahead and close him, it snaps in place. And then, you know, you can go ahead and hide your stuff in here. Hide the treasure back in there. When you want your treasure, just go ahead and give him a little poke. That's awesome. That's cool. In fact, he's got some thrust power behind it, doesn't he? But, you know, if he's got enough thrust power, I wonder if, like, the captain's annoying him and he's on him, if he can just go ahead and eject him. Just... Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a good shot. <laughs> let's put this to the side. Now let's take a look at the gold. Now the gold has got a little thin plastic rubber band around it, so you can just pull it off and... I mean, that's pretty much it. Just open it up and woo! We got gold! Yes! Look at that. It just comes in a nice little ball. So there's a little bit of a break in between the top and bottom half of the ball. So if you just put your fingernails in there, not much effort. And wait a minute. This guy looks different. So guys, um, let me just pull out the coin. So on one side, super cool. You got the uh, skull. You got the cross swords. And then on the other side, he's cool. You got a different face. Now, what face are we looking at? I mean, who is that? So when you look at it, it looks like a fish and he's got an anchor on his forehead. The ship does not have a legend in it at all. So you can't tell who that belongs to. But if you got the other treasure X sunken gold where you have the shark's treasure or you got the other one, the smash bottles, 
then you get maps and here are the maps. Okay, here's the map for the bottle smashers and you can see the different golds there, but the two sides and all the characters you can collect, right? So there's that map and then you have the other map for the shark, which just has the golds and it's the same golds on this map for the hunters. Four gold coins, you see exact same four gold coins. And you can see the names there. You got Diver Doubloons, Deep Sea Stash, Thunder Pounds, and Punk Pesos. So if you look really closely at these, you'll find out, and it doesn't have it here in the ship, so you won't know what you got unless you purchase. So that's pretty tricky. But what's interesting about what we found out here, well, it gets really super cool and interesting. So who we got here is our Punk Pesos. I mean, how punky. Now, guys, if you want, you want to play a little game, you can put in the comments below if you think that every ship that you get is always going to be punk pesos, the gold. Or do you think it's going to be just a random mix of any one of the four coins when you buy these ships? Well, guess what we found? So here we go. So this is what we found in this reveal. Punk pesos, right? Now, Caleb and Jacob opened up the ships and they got their guaranteed real gold dip treasures. Now, put in the comments below if you think they got the same punk pesos or if they got something different. You want to take a look? I'll tell you this, they both got the same golds and it wasn't punk pesos. Huh, let's take a look. Okay guys, who are those guys? It's not punk pesos and you can see the difference between the one that we got here with our ship and the two that they got the same ones in their ship, which I think out of all of them, they got the cooler ones, diver doubloons. I mean, they all look super cool. So I'm thinking to myself, in the past where you got a real gold dip treasure, remember the tomb last year, guys, Treasure X, the tomb, and you got real gold dip treasure, it didn't matter. All the gold was the exact same. Man, Moose keeps doing these tricky things and we like it, it's cool. Because it's like, now they got us guessing. Is it just in every single ship that you open up that you're just gonna get Diver Doubloons and Punk Pesos? Um, from what we see and our guess is, you guys have a chance of getting all four gold coins. Hey, put in the comments below, guys. When you open your ship and you get yours, if you got anything different than what we have here, because then that will tell us something that, hey, it's open game. You guys can collect all four golds here without actually having to buy the Hunters or, you know, with the Shards. So for the shark, it's one in eight that you'll find real gold dip treasure. And for the hunters, it's one in 18. And for this one, you're guaranteed one every single time. And then guys, we had some shark fun. We got some more sharks and we found gold in our sharks as well. For what we got with the sharks, we got the same one, punk pesos. We have two punk pesos, two diver doubloons, and then we got something different. So we almost have all four. <laughs> this guy just looks, he's got a cap on his, on his head. And that guy is Plunder Pounds. So we're only missing a Deep Sea Stash. And then number 11, step 11, is we gotta take the Kraken off his perch. Your reign of terror is over. And you notice how his phalanges are coming out here, his tentacles, just probably wanna pull it forward a little bit, lift him up, and there we go. There's his underbelly, just a hard, I mean, that would be cool. It looks like batteries go in there. So it would be cool if he could put like a couple of uh, AAA batteries in there and then have his eyes light up. Well, okay, his eyes, we need them out for the cannons, right? <laughs> so, hey, you can just use your fingers, you know, gouge his eyes out, a little bit gruesome there. And then next it wants you, you see the holes there? It wants us to take your fingers and just pull it up. And when you pull it up, well, look, look at the back. You see the eyes? That is super cool on the ship. It's got gold eyes, the skull. Oh man, they did a beautiful job on the ship. Even down to the, it looks like carbuncles there <laughs> that attach themselves to the ship. So look, you got the gold eyes, right? So it wants us to go ahead and take our fingers and pull. Oh look, you got a dead fish. <laughs> and the mast, it feels like solid. It looks like cloth and stuff. It, it probably could be with the texture, but man, that's super cool. So you take your fingers and you pull it open. And when you pull it open, maybe we gotta get this board out of the way. So see if we can open it. Yeah, that makes it easier to open all the way. Oh, that's super cool, guys. Look, you got some uh, artifacts down below. You've got the steering wheel, the anchor, and part of the uh, front part of the ship there. Oh, and I just looked out. So if you look at the front part of the ship, it sticks on, extends the front part, and you got TX for Treasure X. I'm pull that out. Oops, there we go. And by the way, this part can come out, but if you want to put it back in, then just go ahead and find those little notches and give it a push. Cool. So there, now we got our stuff here. We got this 
The steering wheel that snaps right on, right on. The steering wheel goes right here towards the back. Yay, that's super cool. And then you've got your anchor, which you can just put it right there. Awesome. Hey, this isn't Bucky from Jake and the Neverland Pirates. This is something that looks a little bit spookier. This looks like more like Captain Hook and what he would do. Boulder Dash! Uh, Thur, your codfish is raiding. Good work, Smee. And then you've got the front part of the ship right here. So you're just gonna extend it. There we go, super cool. Next thing is, look at that, the hole. That's the hole of it. Just go ahead and, oh, I love the gates. It's so cool. That's where you can jail people down in there, you know. And let's pull the box out. Just an empty box, plastic. But that is where your cannon's at. Look at that. That's like a little cannon. <laughs> it's a little pea shooter. There's the little target right there. And you take an eyeball, as it were. You stuff it down there. And then you see how it comes out the other side. There's a little spring in there. So all you have to do is, is pull it back and let it go. If you give it more of a snap, it fires better. More of a snap, here you go. If you do it really fast, let's pew, like that. Give it a snap. In fact, we gotta do it right, guys. Let's put it back in here, and it just fits snugly in there. I mean, look at that. That's just such a snug fit right there, guys. Such a snug fit. You stick it in there. Blast! Blast! Sweet! And so we can put that back down there so you can have your character stand right on top of there. That's cool. It supports it, so it's not flimsy. And then the sword, you can either leave it in his hands or... Hey, let's put him up in the crow's nest here. You see the... The skeleton. This is the cool part. Look at that. His arms come forward. That's cool. He's reaching out for something or he's about to attack. Look at that, guys. You don't want him coming after you with his sword in the ship. He just go up and, and just poke your ship right at the hole. You don't need to do the cannon blast. And look at this. You see that? It's a merman. Then the last thing is up at the front. This apparently comes off. And so that's why you don't want to put this on right yet because you could take the rubber band off because holding this down when you open it up. Cookie! I even got a cookie. Look at that. It's your spyglass. Your telescope that goes on the back. That's cool. So you can keep an eye on what's going behind you and not what's in front of you. <laughs> so you can run into anything. That's cool. I like that. And then you got to be aware of traps. There's quite a few traps here. So you can go ahead and set him up, the captain there. And then you see that little black handle right there. You can take that and just tilt him forward. No! So there's that trap. Or you can see this little black lever right here. And you just push that forward for the, the plank. Now he's got to walk the plank. And then you can go ahead and just quickly pull it back. He's gone. Now this is just a ghost ship because nobody's actually steering it. Although, what would you call him? I mean, he's the undead. So guys, as far as the black foam, magic foam, you'll see up at the top, you got holes here. A big, huge hole, actually. It's black magic. Pour it in here. See how it just comes down? Look at that. That's cool. And it's interesting how it just all melts down out of it. Oh, it's just so amazing how it just keeps falling. It keeps falling. It's like a, one of those little time bottles that you twist over and it just keeps pouring out time. And maybe this right here with the black foam will give you like, what is that? You think it's about a minute? Oh, it's going faster. <laughs> Look at that. How it just starts collapsing. That's super cool. And it just keeps going. It doesn't get stuck. It just wants to all go to the lowest point. Now it's tilted forward and it's all coming out. Man, that's cool. Okay, let's do this next part down here and have it come out of the sides to make it look like it's a real haunted ship. So you can close this if you want, and you can take this and then pour it down here. See if it comes out of the holes. Is it coming out? It just all falls. You just gotta give it time, guys. It doesn't, it's just not cohesive. It just doesn't stick together. Look at that. And then look, you got the back. So should we do the back? Okay, here we go, through the eyes, guys. Oh. That's just creepy, guys. Okay, guys, we're going head to head in our battle here. We got treasure X's from different seasons, some of my favorites. And look, they're ready to sail. So if you guys have your treasure X's, your hunters from earlier seasons, I mean, look, we got the pirate with the red bandana. We got the, uh, these guys are rares too. I mean, this is just super cool. They're going to battle head to head. And then they got the cannons on either side. They could just shoot each other and it's time to board. And then he just jumps over here, climbs up, starts scaling and they got their swords and they're fighting each other. Here, just put them right next to each other. And he's just straddling the middle. Look at that, guys. Super cool. You got two. You could have these battles back and forth. That's awesome. 
And as Captain Jack Sparrow would say, you see, mate, you got to subscribe if you really want to have fun with Adventure Fun. Savvy? Please click on one of these videos for more Adventure Fun.